Hey everybody, welcome back to my channel. I hope you guys are doing fine. Uh, as you guys can clearly see, this video is kind of different from all other videos, right? I have my camera on and the only reason why I have it on is uh, maybe down the line, or 10 years down the line, if I come back and see this particular video, I'll probably start laughing at myself, right? So yeah, so without any further ado, let's start off with today's video. Uh, what we're going to do today is uh, create an image classification project. So first things first, let's create your create a Jupyter notebook. Uh, I'm going to keep it I view, uh, as image uh, as the name of the uh, file for now. So let's uh, start with the project. First things first, uh, we need our uh, libraries. Uh, we're gonna ins first install, not install. Uh, import numpy as in p, and import random. After that, you need to import your uh, matplotlib.pl, and from then so flow or keras input sequential. We're gonna use sequential models for this, and we also need to incorporate your convolutional tree networks, max, max pooling, your flattening, and your dense. So from tensorflow dot keras, uh, you need to dot dot layers. You need to import conv tree max pooling flattening dense. Perfect. Now run this and just give it a second or so, which the first time it runs it, Will take some like ladders of so, oh, layers. Yeah, perfect. Now we need to download our data set. For that, I have it installed here already, which is not, not installed, it's in the drive. Let's download them one by one. Uh, I've already done it before, so you guys can do it. I'll share the link in the description. Uh, I have to drag it and drop it here. So just give me a second. Uh, it's coding. Okay. Uh, it's this, 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 this. I'll drag and drop here. Done. Now we need to start uh, loading our data set and uh, start training them. Not training them yet, but we need to start loading them first. So x trained, that is equal to ng dot uh, load txt yeah that's basically because it's a csv file right there's nothing called dot cs load csv so we're going to use your dot tech your text l o yeah. l o a d txt and after that you need to give the name of the file which is input or csv and after that you need to have your delimiter as well and that will just keep it this as your uh, comma. And similarly for your white ring. And after that, you need to start having your tests. So your x dot x underscore test. Let's rename that to y. Um, your x test will be equal to your uh, np dot load txt again. And perfect. There you go. Run that. Yeah, I mean, the reason why I, uh, I'm just pressing tab to complete the entire thing is because I have Copilot. You guys can also use it, but if you're starting off with this project as a beginner, I recommend you to disable your Copilot and uh, try to do it. Okay. Output. Oh, my bad. It's, it's your uh, labels for me. It's. Uh, Labels, yeah. Now it shouldn't be a problem. Mm. Okay. Yeah, the files, like the entire file is about five gigs. So you guys, it will take some time. Right now I have my, again, output, uh, where is it? Okay, my God, yeah, this will be labels. Yeah, I have my TensorFlow linked directly to my uh, GPU using CUDA. I have an NVIDIA RTX, so it'll be relatively faster. 
I recommend you guys to do it as well. If you have no idea on how to do it, just let me know. I'll help you guys out. Uh, okay, perfect. Now, after we loaded our files, we have to start training them. Now, let's go ahead and train them. That is equal to x underscore train dot reshape. The reason why I'm reshaping my file, my Im each image is because all of them are not uniform. So I have to make them in one particular format. So everything is um, easily trainable. All right. So you have len and after that your x train and I'm going to keep it as 100, 101. This is like the most basic format anybody could pick. And you have your uh, x test again. And that's one one again. And you have your y train. Y train is equal to y train dot reshape len y1. And again, y test len of y test comma one. Perfect. And then finally, we have to downsize them by dividing by dividing it by two two fifty five. That is optional, but if you guys uh want everything to fit in one particular shape or size, you guys can go ahead with this. There's nothing wrong with that. And train them. You cannot know, reshape area of size six thousand. Why do I have a six two thousand? When did I even enable that? Uh, 100, 100, right? So, what's the problem there? Mm. Okay, let's just keep it three for here. So, three. Okay, hopefully, this works. Yeah, perfect. You can just try it here and there. This, the reason why I put three here is uh, it's an RGB file, right? So, you have your, your images is always uh, consists of three layers you have red, uh, green, and blue. So, that's why you have three written there. Now let's check out how they all look shape wise. That's what I meant. Then that, that, and there you go. These are the shapes of uh, our X train, X test, Y train, Y test. All right. Now let's start. Uh, let, now let's look at one particular image. Uh, did we install import random? Okay. So we have index that is equal to random dot randit. That will give you this will particularly this uh, particular statement is just talking about randomizing your selection and from where and uh, from where you want to select the images it is from this particular line so every time i rerun it i get different images some cats some dogs yeah so base that's what our, pro our intention is right to classify images if they're dogs or cats now we have to get into the hardcore stuff, which is creating your mod, uh, fine tuning your model basically. So right now, as you guys notice, we have imported sequential models. So we're going to be using sequential models. All right. So first things first, we need to install. Uh, we need to have your convolutional network, con two D. Uh, you know what? It's the exact same thing here. Everything is as it is. You guys so convolutional 2d max pooling and flattening flattening is basically converting your three-dimensional array into one dimensional array and after that uh, your max pooling is a com like taking your big data set or a big chunk of data and compressing it into one particular image that is in simple words that's what your max pooling does now you run it it, it won't take some it won't take time and now we'll have to fine tune them a little bit using, uh, I'll show you what. So you have your models, sequential, sequential, wait a second, not that. All right, now here we need to have your, no, no, your, sequential now your model dot add on to you need to uh add these few uh hyperparameters now you have 30 you you're going to take your convolutional 
2D with 32 and 3,3, which is kernel size. All of them here. Max pooling again. Add. Flatten them. And finally, we need to inculcate your lens as well. Yeah. Now that this is done, we, yeah, so I, I hope you guys understand what's happening here. You have your ReLU function and your sigmoid function here. Uh, now we need to compile your uh, model. Now that we've created, initialize a model, fine tune the model, and now we need to compile a model using model.compile. And for this, compile usually has three parameters to uh, incorporate. One is your optimizer, one is your loss function, and uh, your metrics. For optimizer, we're going to use uh, Adam, and loss, it's your binary, uh, cross entropy and matrix accuracy. Accuracy makes a lot of sense to inculcate in this particular example. Now, after we compile, we have to fit them or utilize them. And this is the basic ones. And epochs is the number of times you want it to be trained. So the, the higher your epoch is, the higher computation time it takes. For me, I have no problem because I'm using my GPU and it's pretty good, 3050. So uh, it won't take time. It's, it'll take less than a minute, hopefully. And once that is done, we have to validate that by using your evaluate function, which I will show it to you in just a few seconds. But meanwhile, we'll write it. Ah, okay. Just give it a minute or so. We have one last left. It's almost done. Yeah, now that this is done, we need to evaluate a model. Model dot evaluate x test and y test. And we have about 66% of accuracy, which is actually pretty bad. But uh, uh, for this moment, right now, we're just going to look at how the flow of in, uh, an an image classification model will look like. Now we need to test them out. So we use index two, just a variable. You can change it; doesn't really matter. So random dot randit excellent test. Uh, no, no. Uh, after that, we need to show plt dot i show. After that, plt show. Okay. Uh, okay. Now we need to test each image and validate the uh, um, model with these images. So y red, that will be equal to your model dot predict, model dot predict x test, and with x test we need to have uh, we need to incorporate this image that we're using right now. So it will be idx two again, idx two, comma that, nope. And finally, you have to reshape them. Reshape them with uh, 103. That is fine. Then y pred should be equal to not 0, 0, 0. Y pred will be equal to just above 0 0.5. Yeah, that is because everything is going to range between one particular stream, right? So if it is below that, it's Cats. If it's above that, it's dogs. If I'm correct, no. If it is zero, zero. Yeah. If it's zero, it is dogs. Or else, if it is zero, it is dogs. If it's less than zero, or greater than zero, it is going to be a cat. So for that, if your y bread is equal to z, uh, equal to equal to zero, uh, you print not cat, but dog else you print it's a cat i have no clue what this is but wait reshape what spellings wrong huh? okay Re S H A P E. okay that's a dog yeah that's a dog that's a cat and that's a dog again but yeah so like i said we have about what 66 percent so yeah it will make few mistakes don't worry about it right now, but just look at how the flow goes. And I have no clue what these are, but okay. What is, okay, that's a dog. Huh? Okay. 
cat player, good. Uh, a dog, perfect. Dog, see, cat, okay. Dog, dog, okay. Yeah, so basically this is how you uh, create an image classification model. And yeah, I hope you guys understood what just happened so far. And I leave the data set link in the description and the notebook in the description. You guys can check it out. Um, yeah, have fun. Good luck. Bye-bye.